Alrighty guys, so I know you're probably wondering why I got a bow tie on, but today I'm at the FBLA, the Future Business Leaders of America competition. So I'll be doing digital video production, um, there could be some workshops, a lot of things. This is my first time doing a vlog, so I'm just excited for this and ready to see what happens. Chapter president and event participant, so just excited, just excited. So right now I just finished the competition. So hopefully everything went well. The judges seemed like they were smiling. One of the ladies were really happy. Well, not the one of the ladies, it was just one lady. So the lady was really excited. So hopefully everything goes well. Uh, by the way it was set up, I guess the way they were just smiling. I just think I might get first place. So I don't know. We'll see throughout this video if I do get first place. So just excited, just happy, and feel confident and great that this competition so far is going great. And once again, like I said, the judges seem like they really were smiling a lot and just been happy. So excited! All right, guys, I got, I got Brandon here and I got Thomas, yeah. Thomas here. So Hello. networking, networking, networking. Yeah. So excited! All right, so we're about to go network some more. Hopefully, this vlog turns out to be good. Let you get. All right, hello, my name's Deet, and we're at this lovely uh, place. We got, what's your name? Jacob. Jacob. All right, we're, we're going to do a quick interview with Jacob. So, Jacob, what brought you here today? I got to take a personal finance objective test. Okay, okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being you really want to be here and 1 you don't want to be here, what would you rate it? Like 7. 7? Okay, okay. What's one thing you would note about this place? Like, one thing that's stuck out to you, you like a lot? That I like? Yeah. Mm, it's like good setup. Good setup. Yeah, okay. They got signs everywhere. All right, that's cool. All right, that's the interview for today. I do interviews. <laughs> We're gonna check out some workshops. So I'm gonna see what workshops they have and just do that. I'd even show the building. So I'm this is the building. It's a nice area. Looks like I see a keynote speaker over there. Just saw a bee. Hopefully that bee doesn't sting me. All this seemed like all this is is keynote speaking. Another keynote speaker. So I think it's all just keynote speaking. Yep, so far all this seemed like it's just keynote speaking. So I think we're in the keynote speaking room. So now I just heard all the workshops just keynote speakers. So I'll well, just probably walk on one of them and check them out. So our next destination is we're going to go in one of these rooms and watch one of these keynote speakers. So I'm going to figure out which exhibit of keynote speaking I'm going to go to. I'm here with my homeboy Brendan Brown and he's giving me an opportunity to talk about computer science in the world today. The thing I'm going to bring out to you Brendan is this, computer science is everywhere. I'm going to just use a quick example Brendan, when you went to the bathroom and you used the bathroom, you stood in front of a device. You did. I'm not going to ask you what you did, but you stood in front of the vice, and when you moved from in front of that vice, the thing flushed. When you went over to wash your hands, you put your hands under the spigot, the water cut on, you wanted some soap, you put your hand under the soap, the soap dispensed, you washed your hand, and when you were finished, you got some paper towels, it was an air dryer, so you put your hands in the air dryer, you pull it out, and right next to it was a paper dispenser, so you could do either one. That automation process is what computer science does to the world. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to talk to you. Great day, Brandon. So we just finished. That was an interview, motivational speaking. It was actually fun because I got to network with somebody who gave advice on computer science. So if you're interested in computer science, we'll try it out. So I'm just going to walk and see if, if there's another motivational speaker I'm going to go in. So there's another room I'm going to walk to because there's different rooms. I've already been in this this room. So I'm going to go to this room that's right up uh, straight ahead, see what else they have, see some more motivational speaking. So, hopefully there's an interesting, interesting speak. March of Dimes, fighting for the health of all moms and babies. Join us. That was one of the speakers. You have a good day. You too. Going to the next room. So I'm going to another room that I see that looks interesting. That's how the hallway looks. I'm going to see. I don't think nobody's speaking in here yet, so I'll just turn away. Go to the last room I was going to originally go to.
So that's it for motivational speaking from all the people that I've seen, so not that much. Overall, I guess I can say it was a 7 out of 10. Good to network, good to see new people, see new faces. It's ranting here, so I'm not even thinking what I'm saying. Here. But overall, let's say this, everything was great. Great, 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 great. great. And it is, your name is the most valuable thing you own. Let me tell you what leadership is really about. The greatest reward you guys are ever going to receive in your life will not be a bonus, a paycheck, a commission, or your name on one of these buildings out here one day. The greatest reward you're ever going to receive in life is the day that your name makes an appearance in someone else's testimonial. That means 5, 10, 15 years from now, one of your fellow classmates gets up on one of these stages to tell their story about how they were getting ready to quit, how they were getting ready to give up, and you, with just the right words and just the right time, came along and spoke life to them, changed the entire trajectory of their life. The day you hear that story is going to be the greatest feeling. And some of you already have stories like that. Because the need is great if you're paying attention in your school and neighborhoods. People need encouragement. You can be the person to deliver it. But here's the truth. You need encouragement too. Part of this week is about you going to sessions down the hall, you absorb as much as you can, get the oxygen you need, so you can go back and give oxygen to others at your school. We were running into an issue. We had to figure out if we had to either go to the escalator or elevator, but we found a way to go to the stairs. It wasn't what we wanted to do, but we have to go outside and then back in. I guess security guard must be really kind of mean, but we found stairs. Not the inside one, but the one outside to take us back upstairs. From outside. We're outside, Columbia. It's kind of beautiful. Very quiet, though. Very quiet. Hello? Yeah, this is my buddy Nate. <laughs> what do you want to say on the vlog? I don't know. Hello? I don't know. It's I've never just done a vlog before. It feels weird. What was really crazy is that we had to walk outside to get upstairs instead of just go inside. But it doesn't make sense. But it makes perfect yeah. sense to me. Okay. <laughs> I guess security guard is backwards and your thoughts are backwards. Yeah, I'm just joking I guess, with you. I'm just joking with you. Everybody got their own thoughts and opinions. Like the speaker just said, we gotta think for ourselves, so. Yeah, I guess so, eh? yeah. Yeah. This is a pretty view right here. <laughs> Outside Start the place. Start pictures of it, right? So I just finished eating dinner. Nice area, it's a beautiful area. It's a part of And um, so I don't know what it it's amazing. Like. This is the dinner area. It's quite beautiful. <laughs> I like it. I don't think I show this way, but let me show. There's another viewpoint right here. Look at all this nice view. <laughs> yep. What? My boy Nathan. <laughs> barely, barely, but it was good. It was good. So now we're at dinner. Just enjoying a wonderful dinner. Here's my buddy Nathan again. And free food. Yeah, free food. Easy W. So right now we're about to visit the University of South Carolina in Columbia. More of a Carolina guy than Clemson. I don't like Clemson at all. Education wise, is good. Football wise, Carolina's better. No. Glad it's better. Glad. Really, really. Well, we're about to see. Is it right here? Or is the alumni center? And yeah, we're about to go. So I also didn't provide. It's actually really cold out here in Columbia. To say it's really springtime, in March. But it's all right. I got a jacket. Another two jackets. Really cold, but when you get to the sun, it gets kind of warm. Just exploring, just exploring. Nice little view. Nice little greenness up here. Oh. Add that out. Little feral statue. Kind of odd. That they have a feral statue. Very odd. <laughs> not really. Oh, not really? No, not at all. <laughs> okay, that's just kind of odd that that's commercial. Not commercial, advertisement on there. It's on there for that. If you have a museum nearby, which they probably do here, then I can guarantee you they probably want to advertise that. Just, you know. Yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's no problem to me. It's very unique, so. Yeah. It's beautiful. It really is. 
so we're entering in here this is called the horseshoe nice little beautiful area really really cool love the campus really do so we might sneak into a lecture and probably be invited to go see the business side of this campus of the University of South Carolina there's a walkway still the same greeny nice beautiful area this is my first time on a college campus but of course it should be my first time because I'm a high school beautiful area got some nice stickers so now we're vlogging here we're looking looking around here This is amazing. So we're about to tour another room. This must be a bedroom, right? Um, three years now. Dang. Actually, I'm like the share. Nice. Clemson for life, Nathan. Clemson for life. Oh well, yeah, Coastal Carolina was bigger yeah. than this? No, Coastal's also smaller than this. Oh, okay. Coastal, yeah, I think Coastal's room is smaller than this. Yeah, they are. But they do have like... Okay. Our big plan is to go around a big circle. A circle around where we're going to. So I'm liking it, enjoying it. I just want to give you a little motivation while I'm recording here. Um, Don't be afraid to go out and travel. It's really fun. It's engaging and it's interesting. I let you get some rest and relax. Now we're entering in here. This is a, I guess it's a waiting hole. I don't know what the heck this is. It's really nice though. I guess so. I don't. I don't know what the heck. Why that thing is blank. <laughs> Is it here? Just tell me that. Look, this, these are the rules of the other on campus. Blank, blank, blankety blank. <laughs> There's the walk view. Really beautiful. Just like I know I keep saying beautiful, but I'm gonna keep ranting here. It is a beautiful area. Just amazing. Nice. Just a nice little walk area. Nice little area. Another beautiful walkway. Yeah, so thank God I ain't got no math to do. Or no I know math I got math for the past that. next two days. I got them, but I just gotta catch up with it once I get back to school. But probably nothing too bad. Be Actually, good. no, I'm wrong. We won't. We don't have no homework Monday because we had a test Monday, and then Tuesday. Yeah, today's Tuesday, so we probably do got a homework because it's a new unit. So, oh, damn. yeah. So You're today, right. so yeah, that's good. I didn't miss all the homework. So actually, that's easy W for me. So really, I get to finish off my homework from last week. Just two papers finish off the homework that I probably did that I didn't get today and then boom because the test was Monday so I just had to redo the test during ILT or during class at least I'll get an excuse though yep yep yeah get an excuse but this is a nice beautiful area nice view got the little game cock there <laughs> nice little fair looks like there's a fair over there I could just be assuming though, but it looks like it is a fair. Right here, the little campus area. 
Back to there. Yeah, it looks like it is a fair or like a little. It's like a little salesy area. What do you think, Nate? Salesy area? Not salesy area. It looks like a little. I don't know what the word they say. Market. Yeah, like a little farmer's market thing. It is. It's not. It's, yeah. <laughs> this is a little thing sitting right there. It literally farmers. says farmer's market. Oh, it's really? hilarious. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I see it now. Farmer's market. Oh, Some nice grapes. Fruits. They got all the fruits. These are. They're this I don't know what that is. Can't see something just that is. Cookies. Vegetables now. We just passed the fruits now vegetables. Over there. Beans. Yes, ma'am. Got some books. Spider Man. <laughs> I don't know what these people are. Don't know what none of this is. All books. The whole store. This is the whole area. Game Cox. Okay, this is all half off, guys. But look at this. They even got the Bible half off on sale. <laughs> even the Bible is half off on sale. The good book is on sale. We just left from the store. Got a book that's called Do It Today. Coffee. Free coffee. I'll get that. This is. Guess they got free coffee. Oh, okay. Now we're going we're to the library. Okay. That's our new plan. We're going to the library. Nice this part of the view. place is kind of little beautiful. No. Nice and sunny. I'm not sure about beautiful. It looks a little decrepit. Yeah, it is decrepit. It looks like Malcolm X for a second there, but it's not. You can easily tell us. There's the water. Okay. We'll have to go to the library. This library is going to seem interesting. Alright, we're about to enter in. This is a building, right? Oh, okay. They're building something. With some renovations. Yeah, that's so, a, that does look old. Average day traffic. Average day traffic. Average day. Oh, there's a Wendy's. Area. Dominion Energy Study Commons. That's our rent ring. They still got the old smart boards. I hope they don't think they got. Oh, I hope that guy don't think I was recording him. I wasn't trying to record him. <laughs> Look at that smart board. The skylight. This is an interesting business. Business room. There's one weird yeah. vending machine. Going back to the hotel to get some food. I don't know where we're gonna go to. I'm not gonna tell them the food part of course, because that's not what I do. So after I eat, then we'll see me film. So from now, after this clip, I think they'll probably see me vlogging or either post eat. South Carolina Arena, guys. Nice. Back at it, the Metropolitan Center. We are back. Almost close to the pizza joint. I didn't see. This is the area. Chicago. 